Your tongue. The tongue is the emissary for the rest of the digestive tract. If you just take a moment, notice the taste in your mouth, swallow, and follow that passageway down, down your throat into your belly. And just notice what's going on in your intestines, and your colon, and your rectum, and your anus. It's like one long, it's like one long snake. Right, and the tongue is the very tip of this long snake. Right, and this tongue is an emissary. It, it decides what to bring in to go all the way down and out of this snake of the digestive tract. It gets to decide, is it spit or swallow, right? Is it in or out. And I want you to start to notice what is going on with your tongue. As we walk this yogic path, and even say you're, uh, you know, you're a an, an, an beginner intermediate in yoga, you've been doing yoga for a few years, if you go back, you can see that there's been shifts in your palate, that what your tongue wants to spit and swallow has changed over time. And maybe it's been gradual. Maybe your yoga teacher told you that this was going to happen. Maybe they coached you along the way. Or maybe they didn't. Uh, and if they didn't, maybe you've just started to notice or you've compared notes with other friends that you've met from yoga class that are also noticing that foods that are less digestible, that are less alive, they're more repulsed from. And foods that have a lot more energy, they're more attracted to. So what we notice is that our, our tongue is really telling us what our body wants now. And as we do yoga, we're in a process of detoxification for years. Often, if we're coming from a standard American diet and even a healthy um, you know, Western uh, lifestyle, we're still going to go through massive phases of detoxification on this yogic path as our body starts to get rid of that which is inefficient, that which is blocking the flow of consciousness. We start to get attracted to that which makes us feel more alive, that which helps our body dump out excess doshas, excess waste products, excess malas, and create more refined bodily tissue. So, we start to want to know what's going on with our tongue. This is your tongue. I'm drawing a tongue. And the tongue should be a healthy pink in color. And the tongue can tell us exactly what's going on in different parts of our body. So the tongue, if we stick our tongue out and we look in the mirror, so now we have a mirror reflection of our tongue, so there's there's the middle of our tongue, and this is like the sashumna. This is the middle of our body, and it's also like the spine, which runs from crown to root. So right here, this is the crown, this is the top of the head, and this is the root. And if we look at the tongue and there's a big crack, it's telling us that there's issues in our spine or in the emotions that are moving up and down the nervous system, right, which are in our spine. If you think of your how your brain and your spinal column, they encase, I'm sorry, if you, your skull and your spinal column, how that encases your brain and your spinal cord, which protects the nervous system tissue of the body. So if there's a big crack here, it's saying there's issues in the nervous system. Now, if we look then, and maybe there's just a crack here. This would correspond to about the mid-thoracic section of the spine. If there's a crack that's up here, this might be more in the cervical spine, more in this part. And so on and so forth. If we then look at the organs of the body, here are our lungs, right, this part of our body, our lungs, our heart is between our lungs. And then we go into our our, uh, let's see, let me look here. <laughs> we've got our spleen, we've got our liver, and we've got our kidneys, and we've also got here our stomach, and then our small intestines, and largely, lastly, our colon. And there's a tongue map. You can see the tongue map uh, either in my Body Thrive book, or you can see it in the handouts that'll come with this course. But you can see this in great detail. I just wanted to talk you through it because then if we look at what's going on on our tongue, we can start to just notice and start to see what is going on. What is the color of our tongue? 
my daughter was sick the other day and I looked at her tongue and I saw oh her tongue's a little bit her tongue's a little bit pale so I gave her some digestive spices because I knew that there was that paleness there was that more of that kapha nature in her digestive tract and then she was feeling better right away she got her appetite back started eating started having energy and and recovers really quickly if we look at color so if our red tongue is very very red hot right and there's no coating that's usually a sign of excess heat, excess pitta in the body. So it's a way of telling us what's happening in our doshas. If our tongue is really dry uh, and it has more of like a pale to grayish, pale to brownish uh, coloring, that's a sign that there's excess vata. If it's more white or light pink and, and there's usually more coating or more mucus on the tongue, then we know that there weren't the realm of excess kapha. What I want you to hear in this course is how repetitive it is. Because we're just studying energy, and energy is qualities, the qualities of that energy, whether it's vata, pitta, or kapha energy, are going to show up. Those qualities can't not be there with that energy. Then if we look at what's happening where, say there's a nice color of the tongue, except for in the back, and there's this like patch in the back, and it looks kind of gooey, maybe a little white, maybe even a little tinge of light yellow. That's giving us information. What it's saying is that, okay, here's where the ascending, transverse, descending colon are. And it's saying that there's some gunk and goo. There's also, um, there's also just what's happening with the in intestines in general in this region. Maybe that gunk and goo is extending into the area around the small intestine. So it's telling us where the more we study our tongue chart, the more we're going to know what is going on. Say there's a big yellow patch in here. That's telling us that there's excess pitta in the small intestine and if it if when you scrape it off it's it's there's a thickness to it. There's like a goo. It's like a whitish yellowish goo. Uh, that's saying that there's ama or there's undigested food that's built up in the digestive tract.